What's up, what's up, guys and gals? Troy, ATX RC Productions, 3DR Solo Owners Group, ATX Drone Space, <sighs> multi rotor and drone review, unboxing and tips, whatever. Today, we're going to talk about the FAA registration process. The announcement yesterday finally came down, and bottom line is it said, here's the website. We are going to make anybody that wants to fly anything above 250 grams register as a user on a website. You're apparently going to log into the website, put in identification of some sort, obviously, some you know way to identify yourself, I'm sure, your address, your phone number, contact info. Um, and then I'm assuming you will pick and choose and kind of describe what you fly. So... Here's what I fly, 3DR Solo, 300 millimeter, well, 330 based uh, mini TBS Disco running 900 kV motors, 8 inch props. It's a little FPV trainer rig. It's really a great rig. Diatone 250, the Voodoo Triple Deuce or the 210. And I've also still got me a little Isheen Beater FPV rig. So... All of my copters are over 250 grams. They're all going to have to be registered. Okay. I'll do it. Um, it's going to be free for the first 60, 30 days or something like that, I think. Um, you will not be able to register until December 21st. Uh, from then to, I think, January 21st or something like that is going to be the 30-day free period. Um, other than that, it's going to be, I believe, $5 a Five dollars a drone, or I, I'm not maybe five dollars an individual. Still not sure, um, but if you register the first thirty days, uh, it'll be free. So go out there and register in the first thirty days. Don't be the guy to make a point and say I'm not going to do this. Blah 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 blah. Don't do it. Blah blah blah. Eventually have to do it, and then you're going to be out more money. You're going to complain. Look, they're helping us out. Do it for free. That being said, yes, I'm going to register my drones because it's going to be the right thing to do. Um, you guys look on my page. I've got other PSAs and other stuff that I've talked about commentary about this subject. I'm just going to touch on some of it. You know, whether you think that this is government overreach or whether you think this is just the government trying to make a dollar or you think you shouldn't have to do this because... You've flown for X amount of years or X amount of time and never had a problem or you only fly in your backyard, which is horrible to begin with 90% of the time or more. Um, bottom line is the fight's over, guys. We had our time to fight. Um, you guys wanted to fight about this, wanted to put up you know, some resistance and say that we were flying safe and doing this and doing that. We could have done this months ago and organized and hell we could have had a million drone fly over Washington if y'all wanted to it wouldn't have been hard but nobody really wants to get off their ass and go do anything if you ask me um, not a lot of people out there talking about the realities of this stuff not a lot of people out there giving true arguments other than oh it's Obama's fault oh it's government overreach oh this is the land of the free none of that speaks to me on anything that you're giving me any real argument about. Yeah, it's America. We have freedoms that were fought for that we do have above a lot of other countries in almost every country out there. Living in America is still damn near better than almost anywhere else on the planet. Telling me I have to register my drones does not take away my freedom whatsoever. Was there a little more freedom prior to this day sure only because nobody really expected all of this to happen so fast this explosion of drones guys has exploded faster than i mean i don't know the metrics on it but as a logical person i think this has exploded by far faster than cell phones than computers and anything else that I've seen in my lifetime, and I'm 35 years old, and I lived through the computer revolution, the cell phone revolution. Man, these things took off. I've only been flying these things for about a year or so, and I feel like it's been three years. It's tremendously, 
tremendously growing. How do what what do you expect? You have to be able to admit that there are some dangers in flying multi-rotors. Whether it's these multi-rotors or whether it's even some other drones that aren't multi-rotors like foamies and all those things. I don't care how light it is. I don't care. There is always something that could happen. And I am, yes, I'm playing the what-if game. Why? Because the statistical probability is skyrocketing. Every day, hundreds of drones are probably being sold in your city. How many AMA members do you have total in all your AMAs, if you have more than one AMA like we do here? We have about 120, 150 total AMA members in the Austin area, the central Austin area, which is actually bigger than just one city. Um, 150, but yet I have 300 people in a local drone pilot group. And that's just in the pilot group on Facebook. You can't say that the current AMA responsibilities and all that can cover the entire basis. They just can't. Sorry that this is kind of lumping in some of the other aircrafts, but again, let's be honest, it's not that big of a deal. Keep doing what you're doing and flying it safe in the right places, and all that's being asked of you is to say, hey, I'm a flyer. I'm going to put my name on it or my registration number, whatever it is. If something is to ever happen with this thing and somebody does need to find me, they'll be able to find me. The arguments of... Well, if I put my number on it, who says somebody else can't put my number on it or the criminals aren't going to put their number on it? Of course not. That's not what this is about. You guys are, again, reading into it the wrong way. This is about the right people doing the right thing. If we get enough of the right people doing the right thing, good things come from that. Maybe a, a new part of AMA. Maybe a multi-rotor or drone portion of a, or uh, kind of split off of AMA. Or maybe let's go out there and join our AMA groups and be involved with them. And like our local one who has a president and secretary step down, let's get some multi-rotor guys in there. Guys, this is up to us to change. We can't dwell on it. We can't fight about it. We can't, you can't even fight it. It's done pretty much. I mean, is there a long shot that a ruling could come down that could slow? I guess, but I'll be honest, I don't see that happening. There are too many dollar bills at stake. There are units on the shelf ready to be sold. Why are they doing it before Christmas? It's not because they know so many are going to be sold and they'll collect all those dollars. No. If that was the case, they'd just make us register. They wouldn't give us it for free. They are doing the registration the way it is is because it's all they can do at this moment. The 333 exemptions, tell yourself whatever you want. That was to slow down, slow down the corporatizing and the commercialization of drone operating. We're not ready for it. There's no regulations. There's no certifications. Anybody can go grab one and go fly. These things are going to line up. It's going to take time. They can't flick the switch overnight because they didn't start five years ago. Yes, they could have. They would have known, but they didn't. So we start somewhere. We start with this. Put your name in the database. Write your number on it. This time next year, I bet you all these products that are now going to be on the shelves next year are going to have actual some sort of digital serial number. Maybe some sort of lockout feature. Some of you may not know this, or most of you don't know this. Traxxas, who makes a lot of ground RCs, as well as a few aerial RCs, has a product called the X01. It is a A-scale car, or maybe it's a fifth scale, I forget, that will do over 100 miles an hour. It says it on the box. That being said, when you buy it, it'll do about 65 Throw a couple of different gears in it, call Traxxas up, give them your ID. They will give you a code to unlock the power feature on it that allows it to do 100. Hmm. Traxxas has been doing this for years. You don't think that this is going to be the next step for Solos and Phantoms and Jayees and all the new consumer products that are coming out? Because we're in a consumer world. Even the 250 class is being commercialized and being made into consumer products ready to fly more than ever. We have a million dollar drone Grand Prix about to go down next year. You don't think these things are gonna be out the box pretty soon? It's just gonna need an unlock. You're gonna have to go to the website, 
I'm so-and-so, I'm 18 years old, here's my national FAA registration number, unlock my drone, done, let's go, let's go fly, let's go race. What part of that, I mean, it's done, it's over. Are you worried about, so little Johnny's going to go fly his Phantom and he's going to crash it and they're going to see that it's a Phantom and they're going to look me up because I own a Phantom. No, they're not. No, no more than they're doing that about people running stop signs and coming and chasing down people in white cars. If you hurt somebody, then yeah, they might look around. They're not going to use this to harass. Them. Come on. We got enough stuff going on in the world and in the, in the communities and in the, the America. I understand that, yes, witch hunting and all that people are afraid of. But show me an instance of this. Show me where the FAA has really, really actually tried to do anything other than just stunt, just stunt the growth. That's it. Slow it down. Get control of it. Figure out if the FAA is even the people to deal with it. They not. We know they're probably technically not. I, there's no other answers other than either let it go and let it be what it's going to do and let it go on its own free willy nilly and then have problems and then shut it all down. Or just try, try and make a little bit of an impact today to not slow down and not take money out of pockets, out of you know companies that have products on the shelves, because that wouldn't help, but find a way to still sell the products this season, get through this season and start revamping for next year and getting this stuff together. Getting the 333 stuff, the commercialized part, organized, regulated. Yes, there's going to be regulation in it. It's a commercial industry. License, registration, whatever you want to call it, take care of that. Get people to have accountability. Not about, oh, well, when it lands or get crashes into somewhere, I'm going to get it back. No. Accountability in the fact of if I can stop one mother from going and buying something that their 13 or 14 or 15 year old son shouldn't have and just handing it to him and walking away, if I can get one mother to think about it a little more because that sale, she's told, oh, you're gonna have to register this, blah, 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 that makes a difference. That's one less irresponsible person flying something out there. That's what this is about. This is about making people think. There is no, there's no mandatory, nothing. There's no, everybody wants to say, well, if they want to, they can already learn, they should already. No, they're not because people buying phantoms and solos and everything. I see it every day, all the time. Flying in horrible places. Have they crashed them yet and caused any damage? No. But I promise you, the one day that that phantom falls out of the sky and hits a car on a freeway because somebody's flying in an area they shouldn't be and it causes a wreck, what are y'all going to say then? It can happen. The probability is it's going to happen much sooner than we all want to admit. We are playing Russian roulette right now with these things in a sense that, yeah, there's no major issues so far. But every day, thousands more are flying across the world. Thousands. Can't do that math and not give me the right answer. I don't know. Again, I'm not here to be angry. I'm not here to tell people they're wrong. But I'm just here to tell you my side. Register your drone. Just be a part of the future. Be a part of growing it. Get out to your AMAs. Join, support them, do everything you can to be involved and make multi-rotors and drones and all of it just collectively positive and fun and safe. I promise you that this stuff is only going to get better. There's no way that they're going to shut us down and just not let us. This is the future, guys, of many, many businesses. It's too much profitability, too many jobs and just too much future. Got to protect it. I envision a day where we're going to have multi-rotor FPV parks. Specifically for flying FPV. I, 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 it's going to happen. It is. If we can just accept that what we do is a privilege and a hobby. And it's something that just because we enjoy it doesn't mean that we have to be able to do it any and everywhere. And not take into accountability our neighbors or anybody around us. That's all this is about. Taking care of everybody around us while still enjoying what we want to do. Fly safe, fly smart, just fly something. Y'all have fun. Peace.